Hi friends, today we're reading Hamish, the Highland Cow, written by Natalie Russell. It was springtime in the Glen. All the animals were preening and cleaning their spring coats. Gorgeous, beautiful, all except Hamish, the Highland Cow. Hamish never groomed his long, tangly coat. He hated having baths, and he certainly never, ever let anyone cut his hair. Hamish's hair was so long that he couldn't always see through it. It was so naughty and tangling that things lived in it. And it was so sticky with toffee that everything stuck to it. You see, Hamish loved eating toffee. Sticky, gooey, chewy toffee. And the perfect place to keep his toffee treats was in his long, tangly coat. But the other animals had had enough of Hamish's sticky, dirty, matted hair. Bong, boo, wee, bong. It's time you had a haircut, Hamish, said Cat. What? cried Hamish. A haircut? Never. We'll give you a big surprise, said Rabbit. Now Hamish loved surprises. Hmm, he thought. What if the surprise was a never-ending supply of toffee? Hmm, maybe a wee trim, he said to his friends. So the next morning, the animals and a very nervous Hamish set off for the hairdresser. It wasn't far, and before long they had arrived, Hamish slowly peered around the salon door. Sheep salon. What a sight! There were pink sheep, blue sheep, stripy sheep, and polka dot sheep. There were sheep with big hair, short hair, long hair, and curly whirly hair. And there, in the middle of them all, snipping and clipping away, was the hairdresser. Hamish hadn't realized that the hairdresser could be so much fun. There were lots of books to read and great things to play with. <laughs> Smelly things, spray things, and big chair that went up and down and round and round. Wee! Then, Mr. Hamish, said the hairdresser, what will it be today, sir? Hamish still felt a bit nervous, but he took a deep breath. Oh, trim, p -p -p please, he said. The hairdresser set to work on Hamish's coat. It smells out here. Ooh wee with a snippity snip and a clippity clip, the scissors whizzed over Hamish's long, tangly coat. It didn't hurt at all. What do you think, Mr. Hamish, said the hairdresser. Hamish looked in the mirror. Groovy, he beamed. All the animals agreed, and the hairdresser even gave Hamish lots of toffees for being so brave. But Hamish looked sad. I've got nowhere to keep them, he said. Shh. Then, surprise, shouted his friends, and they gave Hamish a very special bag to put all his yummy toffees in. Hamish was delighted. He popped his toffees in the bag and set off home with his friends. Now you're the coolest cow in Highlands, said the animals, giving Hamish a huge hug. Don't mess up my hair, said a very smart and sweet-smelling Hamish. The End